Hey, what's going on guys? This is Mast and welcome back to some more Smite Conquest. Today we're playing a little Hunbots in the jungle. Uh, some changes have been happening to items in Season 7 and we're going to try and take advantage with the Hunbots build today. It's honestly not the best on him. It's definitely better on some other people. But what we're going to try and do is we're going to go crit Hydra's Hunbots. And even though Hydra's has gotten nerfed, crit has gotten buffed. And what the hell is going on this game, man? Oh my, we have got some cheese, boys. This is like, see, was it season one? I think it's season zero all over again. There was some point, I don't remember what it was, where I can't remember if people did it intentionally or if it was because the lanes were even so you couldn't tell which was which. And one lane would be 1v2 and another lane would be 1v2 at random. And that's like what just happened just now. Who was it? That was Afro Guan, right? That's Afro support. What the... What is this start, man? What are we going into? Are they still going to be there? What's up? Yeah, I don't think you win this. <laughs> it starts running for her life. <laughs> oh my god, man. Yeah, I don't I don't think we kill her or anything, but like we get some poke on her, that's fine. Yeah, she got all excited, man. She's like, oh, I'm dodgy. I get a kill now, right? No, you don't. No, you don't. Get out of here. Oh, he didn't do red yet. Did he die? Oh, he did die. Okay. I didn't even catch that. How do you die, man? Do you just how do you get soloed by Morrigan a level two? Yeah, she got that. That's too bad. I actually like. I genuinely don't know. Morrigan doesn't have like it's, if it's like Hebo or like an ADC or like someone that's not Morrigan. I could see it. I'm like genuinely lost, man. I think he like basically just died to minions. Morrigan just literally doesn't have that much damage in her kit unless she like autoed him to death. Maybe that's it, man. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. Alright, well, we're going to be on farm mode for a little bit. We kind of need ultimate to do anything. This is a bit of an unfortunate game because we're going against a Daji. And uh, with Daji, we can't really go blink unless we just want to risk, like, throwing the game. So we're not going to go blink because we're not going to risk throwing the game. So we have to go beads, which means we can't do as much, which kind of sucks. But on the other hand, we get to not die every 90 seconds when she ults us. So that's pretty good, too. So you guys have probably been wondering where I've been at with the videos. Uh, and honestly, I wish I could say that there'd be daily uploads coming, and I'm not totally sure that there will be. Um, in all honesty, normally whenever I've taken some sort of break, there's been reasons aside from Smite. This has literally just been Smite, and I wish it wasn't the case. But for Season 7's release, I'm not really disappointed about Season 7. I'm honestly kind of disappointed, but not enough that I wouldn't play the game. I just wish it was a bigger update and more of a revamp rather than just a, like a balance update, essentially. But ever since it released, matchmaking's been worse. There's been a DC bug, so a decent amount of games just have like a 4v5 or even a 4v4. And, um, you know, it's the servers were really bad. I think servers are fixed now. I, don't, I haven't had server issues in a few days. So I've played some Smite and just had games where I, that I haven't been happy with, mostly because of the DC issues and matchmaking. Uh, but other than that, it's mostly just been I haven't wanted to play Smite because of those issues. So it's been a mixture of I'm not playing as much because it's been frustrating and, um... And there's just been, I literally just like stopped playing for, for a little, well, sorry, that's, I got my, my things mixed up there. To some degree, it's me playing less because of the issues. To some degree, it's because of those issues, it's hard to get games that are good. I literally was going to upload a Hunbots video today that was two games in one. And I thought about it later and I was like, you know what, even though this is a way to get a video up, it's still like, and even with what I'm dealing with, it's not worth uploading. Because it was one game that was a stomp and it was one game that was a 4v5. And I thought as far as like recording a video and playing well, I did both, but the game sucked. So I didn't want to upload it. And it's like, it's just, I don't know. It's really frustrating, man. Honestly, if it wasn't for the fact that I feel like it'll kind of kill off the channel a little bit, I would actually probably not upload for longer, even though I'm actively losing money when I don't upload just because it's like so frustrating to play the game right now for, for at least recording sake. Um, and honestly, more than anything, it probably means I need to dive into ranked. I was diving into ranked and normally because I want to get certain, not meme builds, but like meta, not meta builds, but like balance update builds, right? Like there's been some big item changes. I normally upload those or record those in casuals and I want to do those in casuals. And it feels like I can't play casuals because it's just, it's just miserable, man. So for anyone wondering where I've been, that's been the case. It's been seven days or something like that. It's been a minute. Um, and yeah, I don't know. I wish it wasn't the case, man. I was really enjoying Smite and then season seven came out and like here came a mess of issues. Like ironically, I just wish it didn't update to season seven because there wasn't that much of a shift and it kind of ruined the game for, for a week for me. And it's probably going to do it for a few more, but I'll just try and power through. All right, we should be able to gank right here. Uh, AMC doesn't have ultimate yet. Just kidding. I lied. Um, I, don't, I don't know if we can do anything now. 
I thought specifically because he didn't have ult, we might be able to do something, but but now he does. That's kind of clunky. We'll poke him a little bit. How about that? Yeah, I really don't know what we do right now, man. I want to gank duo, um, but Hashi's died a couple times, so it's going to be hard to get like a moment to gank duo. They might get aggressive here in a second. They're probably going to back, though. So we probably don't get a chance to gank here. We'll see. Oh, yeah, we do. We do. We should just get his beads, though. What's up, boys? Oh, good Athena ult, man. That's actually a really good Athena ult. Dunked. All right, kill him. Hachi? Oh, he doesn't have ult. Smack. Nice. Good stuff, man. That was such a good Athena ult. Like, the moment we're jumping in for the gank, she just lands on me. Or not lands on me, but, like, targets me to land on me. So good, dude. Did AMC ever beads? Like, he should have beads, I think. I don't remember him using it. But maybe it's because he just got, like, insta-deleted by Athena ult. I don't know. So as far as the build's concerned, I kind of brought it up a little bit. Um, God, I'm guessing... Do I not go Jotun's? Was it a mistake to start Mace? I'm trying to think, because I want to go Crit. I want to go Hydra's. I guess we don't have to go Trans. So I guess I guess it's fine. I guess it's fine to go Jotun's. Yeah, I had a game the other day where someone was trying to tell me that Jotun's was bad, and it just it made me sad inside, man, because Jotun's has been one of like the most consistently good items in Smite for like as long as I can remember. Like back in Season 1, Jotun's and at the time Void Blade, which is basically Void Shield were just like the core items that you build on anyone that's not Bach or like Arachne. <laughs> I think you might have built them on Arachne, I don't remember. But like anyone that's not insanely auto attack focused, you just built those items because they were so good. And while Void Shield's been a little hit or miss, Jones has like always been good, man. Yeah, we'll, we'll go Jones, we'll get our cooldown online, we'll get Hydra's going, we'll get Crick going, we'll try and smack some boys. Some fat auto cancel damage. Alright, we cannot even remotely do anything here, but we're gonna clear wave because uh, Tear's dead for a while. Might as well soak up some farm. Hi. How you doing? Please, please don't hurt me. I said please don't hurt me. I mean, I guess she followed through. She's missing, she's missing everything. Hi. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't worth it. I don't know why I ran at her. The only thing that could possibly happen there is I could take some damage and I could maybe die. So that probably wasn't worth it. I mean, we're fine, but like it could, if, if Daji was still there, that could actually been bad. All right, let's see if we can do anything mid. Guan doesn't have beads or anything, so we might just be able to smack him. Oh, did we not? That sucks, dude. Yeah, hold up. I'm trying not to get Guan ulted. That was an unfortunate gank, man. Yeah, that was really bad timing. Honestly, I think we could have... Uh... Oh god, I can't finish it. <laughs> they, they booked it for me, so I had to chill. Um, yeah, I really wanted to... Uh... Oh my god, she's still here? Are you kidding? She chased so far, man. Alright, we're selling these because we don't need them. We need Jotuns. But, yeah, that, that got a little clunky there because... um. Wait, no, it was fine. If we didn't get stunned out, man, that was actually a good gank. It's literally just Morrigan stunned us the moment we popped ult. Like, I'm pretty sure she even got feared, but she got the stun off the moment we feared her. So, that was just really bad timing. Alright, let's try and bully this AMC some more, man. I don't think Guan will be here, so we can probably just jump on his face and maybe get a kill. I guess Hachi doesn't have ult. Found him! What's up, buddy? Good stuff, yeah. Uh, I mean, we followed through on what we said, right? We can jump on his face, and we can maybe get a kill. And we got a kill. Alright, we'll actually buy, we'll buy the hordes back. It's honestly really good. It's funny. I feel like a lot of people probably think I'm memeing a lot of the time. I guess some of the time I'm memeing when I sell wards. Normally, it's actually worth. Because normally, it's to finish, like, a T3 item. And it's definitely, like, almost... It's almost always better to have a tier 3 item than to have wards. As good as wards actually are... Uh, <laughs> even if we don't play so much. As good as words actually are, like, tier 3 items pretty nuts. Alright, let's let them dump some stuff on poor Vulcan, and let's clean up the mess. Where are you? Not there, unfortunate. I thought she'd actually get aggressive there. I think she just ducked in the left jungle. Oh! Hi! Yeah, I gotta not die to- what? What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Damn it, man. Yeah, I was trying not to die to Daji. I mean, we turned around for a free kill, so that's fine. That's too bad, man. That sucks, dude. If that ult hit, that would have been so good. I thought she was greedier than that, man. I thought she'd go for it. Like, she's 5-1. Like, I figured she'd just turn back around. But it's fine. It's fine. Uh, we probably go Hydra's before Rage. Yeah, probably worth it. Oh god, I gotta sneeze. Oh, I'm gonna bless somebody's ears. Oh, I'm holding them back. I'm holding them back. If I sound weird, that's why. Oh god. Um, yeah, I think we go Hydra's first, because Hydra's is so good with unbots. 
And then we can work into that rage. Rage is nutty now, man. It was already a good item that was really slept on and they gave it 5% more crit and they made it cheaper. It's really funny how quickly I've seen casuals shift in a way that I hate, by the way. I literally uploaded a video like at least a year ago, maybe two years ago about why crit is terrible and it shouldn't be in smite. And I, and I completely agree. Like, I completely think that's true. I will use it. I just think it shouldn't be in the game. Uh, which someone's going to ask me about it, and I don't really want to go into it right now, but because I want to actually say what I'm thinking about. But I think it's funny because um, so many people have been sleeping on... Hold up. Let me say my thing. Can I ult game? Are you kidding me, dude? I tried to ult like so long ago, and I don't know what the hell happened. I actually don't. I dare you to dive me. I dare you to dive me. Come on. You can press three. It's cool. No, come press three. Look, you're so healthy. It's fine. Oh my god, she's one HP. That's too bad, man. Yeah, honestly, I wasn't even trying. I didn't realize Athena was even rotating there. I just, I figured we wouldn't die if she dove, so I just kind of wanted to bait. But it's fine. I mean, we almost killed her. Yeah, well, stupid, stupid fight made me lose track of what I was saying. Uh, basically, a lot of people, like, think crit hasn't been good for a while, and it hasn't been super meta at the competitive level, but it's been good in casuals, and because it's not good at the competitive level, a lot of people have been like, no, crit is bad, but it's really different when it's like you have tanks that really know what they're doing, versus just, like, casual players, because in casuals, you can really get away with just smacking the squishies and not dealing with the tanks, generally speaking, because it's hard to frontline well and stop people from doing that. Like, it's something that, like, it's really more of a skilled player thing, right? So, it's just funny, man, that, like, it, it was really underrated, and then it got buffed, and then people are like, wait, let me try this, it got buffed, and they're like, holy shit, this is so good. And it's not really because of the buff, it's because it was already good, and they made it kind of nuts. But it'll be funny, man, because in competitive, I actually don't think it'll be that big. It's gonna be a similar situation, but since SPL's on right now, people aren't, people aren't ready to say crit sucks, because they don't know. It's like, it's it's great for casuals, man, but like, you can still wreck it with better builds and, uh, and better team comps and stuff, just knowing how to deal with it. Alright, we actually get an active, and yes, I'm gonna remember. I've been, I've been getting better, boys. I've been getting better. So we got Blink online, we've got a bunch of cooldown, we got a bunch of burst. We're looking pretty good. We're actually pretty farmed, too, considering our team's kind of behind. Although, I guess that's just because of Vulcan mid. By the way, fun fact, this is the Vulcan from the tier video, and I really wanted to play tier. I really wanted to play tier, but I wasn't going to ask this guy not to play tier just so I could play tier. So, I thought that was kind of funny. He also, uh, actually, I guess I have him blocked, so I don't know if he said anything. I think you can still see blocked people in lobby chat. I could be wrong, but I was surprised I didn't see him say anything about, uh... <laughs> about us having a deer, like, playing that easy god, huh? <laughs> kinda, kinda expected a little something. Alright, Afro is booking it to mid. Alright, let's try and not lose left tower to wave. Uh, they probably get gold or something. They haven't done gold yet, have they? Because, like, a lot of people died, and then we had to clear left so that we didn't, like, lose tower. So... Yeah, I think they could have done gold. I'm pretty sure it's still up. Oh, she's proxying. This will be fun. I'm trying to not let her to me, if we can. Okay. <laughs> okay, I guess she just accepted it. I didn't expect that, man. I didn't expect her to just accept her fate. Um, but what were we talking about? I don't remember, man. We were talking about something, and I bet it was really good. All right. Uh, uh, you good? Ha Hachi? I don't, I don't think he's okay. Yeah, they probably aren't goal. We probably have to instantly rotate, honestly. Actually, why did they even go to smalls? That was just dumb. Have one oh, that was, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, man. Let me just eat everything. Okay. I don't think we can fight this. That was a good jump. Okay, these fights are uh, not looking the best right now. Although that one, admittedly, was... Oh my god, that did a lot, man. I actually kind of uh, want to fight this, even though I think we just die. No! What, what are you doing? Come here. Okay, I can't I can't jump in, because that could get bad. <laughs> Athena ate the stinger clutch. Alright, um, Vulcan is still dead, so we're going to clear this. 
I think we kept them off gold, but I honestly can't check because we'll probably die. I don't know, maybe we can check? I'm pretty sure they're not on it. Yeah, no, they're not on it. We're good. Oh my god, man. I really wanted to kill there. I'm sad we couldn't. It was so close. Guan dashed through me and just like so ballsy. All right, we get to kill this AMC though. I don't even know if they need me. Oh, I guess we don't get to kill this AMC. Okay. Yeah, I think um, if they don't stack everything there, I'm pretty sure they could have killed him. What happened is they like used all their slows and all their CC. He just beats through literally all of it and just ran away. So, so yeah, that's uh. Wait, I just realized this is Guan. I think they literally just got confused, and Guan thought he was solo, but he was support. Cause this man has teleport, but he's been support. And I don't know why, unless he actually has just some bizarre cheese strat, he just thought he was solo. And was like, oh my bad. <laughs> oh my god, man. Well, that explains the start. Because, like, they haven't done anything cheesy since. They actually must have just goofed. Alright, we get rage done fairly soon. Alright, I'll come kill Afro. I feel like there's too much stuff to do this game, man. I want to, like, I want to be ganking duo, and I don't feel like I even can. Did I really just miss that, man? I'm trying not to alter. Because we shouldn't need to. There we go. Yeah, it took a little longer. It's fine. I'm pretty sure she got his blue. Let me actually... I guess he can push left. We should be fine. I'm just going to back. We'll dip out. We'll get rage. But yeah, I want to gank this AMC. Because, like, he's an AMC and he should just be farm. He should actually just be, like, just a crop for me to harvest. But no. I can't... I guess he's 1 in 5, so it's fine. But normally I just want to bully the man. There's also just, I don't know, I don't know why, because there's nothing wrong with it, but like, I kind of just like bullying AMC players, <laughs> and it's probably kind of mean, but I don't know. There's something a little Loki-ish, even though he's not remotely like Loki, I don't know what it is. Alright, they did gold. Let's, did he, really, you gotta do, that was such a good ult, man, can you not? He's CC immune with Guan ult, please stop. Rip. Oh! Damn, I tried to beads Morrigan one, because I thought she'd be going for me. It was actually going to be such a sick pre-beads. And then just surprise, she went for Vulcan. Alright, well, we did a lot of damage. Um, I don't I don't know what we get to do here, but we did a lot of damage. Alright, I guess we're good. I guess they're not going for tower. This is a rough game, dude. We're, like, losing, but I feel like I'm playing really well. And their late game's pretty scary, so I don't know if it gets better. I think a lot of it's just Vulcans, I guess, I don't know, overall as a team we're doing fine, but Vulcans just do 0 and 6, and that's pretty rough. I think it's actually all there is to it right now. Alright, let's grab this, let's back, let's grab a Sentry Ward. You guys ever hear of those? I haven't. Um, I think we'll ward up around FG, because I feel like they might try and go for it soon. Since they finally got gold, they've been pressuring gold for so long and they got it done. So, I think we want to do that. By the way, we're kind of a weird part of the game, because I'm like stacking up crit, and I don't have other crit items yet, so we can't rely on it yet, and that makes us a little clunky. But once we actually get what's going to be um, a Malice done, I, I, do we want to go Malice? Do we want to go Deathbringer? I guess we might just want Deathbringer. Um, we probably want Malice, because like it's not going to give us as much damage, but we get to like jump a lot more, and it's pretty sick, so I think we'll probably do that. Can we just kill you? Come here! Oh, I'm so dead. Wait, wait! Okay, if we actually somehow teleported out of that, that would have been cool. Yeah, that was, um... Yeah. <laughs> that was unfortunate. I didn't, I didn't anticipate the Aegis from Afro, and that made things a little awkward, because I thought I could jump on her, and we wouldn't just die, but the idea was we had ult, and then we had to ult to kill her. Which I guess really means I just shouldn't have ulted to kill her. I guess that was the big thing. I was like, I was too head down. I wanted to kill stupid Afro because I'd committed so hard. Yeah, we could have just ulted everyone else and that actually wouldn't have been terrible. Whatever, man. We killed Afro. Fuck Afro. A to Z's, a to Z's done. Like, we've, we've got her covered. Fuck Afro. Please don't do FG. I think, I think we're good. Morgan's in mid. 
Yeah, you can see that like we actually do good damage whenever we crit. We got a Hydra's crit on her at one point, and even though she has defense from Tyrannical Plate Helm and like Warlocks, it actually did a good bit of damage. So we can chunk a bit, but but we gotta get some RNG for us right now since we don't have the actual uh, high crit chance yet. Oh, by the way, because I was gonna wrap around to this and then I forgot about it. It's probably yeah. Um, one thing to note, because I brought it up earlier, and for anyone that's going to ask, and they probably already did ask because I haven't gotten back to it in forever, if you guys want to know why I think crit is stupid, it's it's pretty simple. Like, I can literally use an example from my last game. So there was an ADC building, like, a good amount of crit. He had, like, um, what, what do you get from Rage plus Deathbringer? 70%? I think he had 70% crit, which is a high chance. And he crit me three times, and I died. Um, which is a high chance, to be fair. Now, generally... He will crit me two out of three, and it'll take four autos. Um, or it actually might have even been five autos, depending on how exact the number was. And so, like, getting pure chance to make a huge difference in the amount of autos it takes is crazy, man. All right, we don't talk about those. <laughs> we don't talk about it, boys. Okay, I'm dead. I like how she didn't just ult me. I don't know why. Yeah, um, I thought we could fight her. And then she deleted my face. So next time we fight her, let's just not fight her. You know, I, I think that wasn't the play. But anyways, let's do an example real quick. So let's say I'm um, I'm an ADC, and I can three shot if I get all crits, but I get zero crits. And because I have Deathbringer, and I get zero crits, not only do I lose half the damage I would lose of, of crit, but I'm getting bonus damage I'm losing on crit. And it'll probably take me seven autos because I got really unlucky. Now, it's really unlucky to not get a crit over and over again. And that's part of the thing about crit is when you don't crit and you do less damage, because you do less damage, you get more chances at autos to then crit. So it kind of can make up for itself because you're getting more autos and more chances. But because it's just like, because you get that RNG, you have some fights where it might take seven autos to kill him. You have other fights where it takes three autos to kill him. And your attack speed stays the same. So you literally, like, you can, like, double your time to kill just through luck. And that's really stupid in a game like Smite. Because when you just, oh, surprise, you know, it's not like you do double damage because you have, you normally will do uh, close to that double damage over and over again. But it's more like you can get lucky and do a little more, and that sucks. And you can get unlucky and just not get the kill, and that sucks. <laughs> and it's like, I just really want items that can have an impact like that. They can fill that role of really good versus squishies, not pure pen items. All right, I have no clue if we do anything in this fight. Take that take that as a no. Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I didn't realize that they had both died, so I guess that's my bad. I thought, um, I think I knew Vulcan was dead. I didn't realize Tyr was dead, so I was, like, trying to come in and clean up, and we just kind of killed ourselves. I was kind of distracted. But, but yeah, man, it's just, like, getting getting actual RNG to have such an impact, I really hate it, man. So I would love to see more items that are just, like, power-focused, um, giving auto attack buffs that are actually not just like, oh, here's something that goes with attack speed. And you can actually build like high power builds and get a benefit out of it. Almost like Heim passive. Like Heim passive is so sick for power because it's just like, you're just getting a percentage of power based on who you see. Getting items like that would be awesome. Where it's like, you have more power, the item somehow benefits more power and you can get more out of it. And obviously the tricky thing is you have to do that without just making it an insane assassin item, but it's honestly not that hard. You can come up with different ideas and do that. So I just like, I don't know. I honestly didn't plan to go that into it, but I figured people would ask about it. So figured I'd answer. Apparently we have sixed. Oh my God, man. <laughs> Apparently we have six. I'm going to upload this video. I have been recording all day. I recorded a bunch yesterday. I recorded a bunch of day before. I really don't want to upload games like this. Like, we just F6'd it, like, 23 minutes, and I'm 7 and 4, and it's going fine. But, like, Vulcan fed really hard. It looked like we were going to lose. They weren't having it. And it's just, like, I don't know what it's going to take to get a game, man. So, unfortunately, I guess I just get to upload this, because otherwise we just don't upload a video today. Oh, my God, man. It's ridiculous, dude. It's ridiculous. Yeah, Season season 7 has been off to an interesting start. Hopefully you guys have not had the same issues I, I placed your awards. What? I didn't place the- I placed- what? I placed a ward. Did I not? Did I get- oh my god. I mean, it's not- it can't be wrong, right? Like, I don't think that's a thing. That's funny, man. I specifically remember placing a ward, but I must have been, like, about to place it and then got distracted. Like, yeah, you know, like I do. 
But anyways, yeah, hopefully your guys' season seven has been off to a better start than mine. Uh, and hopefully we can actually get some better videos and some daily videos coming soon. But in the meantime, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed actually having a video, even, even if it's this. But thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you all enjoyed the video. And I will see you all in the next one. I've been seeking for the glory. Say, say, say my name. And I've been trying to wrap my own story in the search for fame. I'm sitting here in this empty room. Walls keep tumbling down.